guys, it's Mousy, and today we're going to be playing a cute game I found called Star Stable. It's about horses and magic and friendship and all kinds of cute stuff, and I'm really excited to be playing it today. So let's go ahead and make our character. This is so loud! Okay, so we have to make our, uh, our look. What's our look going to be? Our face. Oh, that looks like us. Hair color. It looks like we only have like certain hair colors. We can put to put on little makeup and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so I think this would be a good character. <gasps> First name. Oh, we have to pick a name. Okay, what should our name be? What's the closest thing to Mousy? I guess Molly is like. This epic music though. Molly Dragonstorm! It's close- That name is already taken! What?! You're kidding me! Molly Dragon Song it is! <gasps> no, no, no! I accidentally hit random again instead of next! Are you kidding me? Yes! Okay! Oh, we get to pick our horse! Look at you! You're so cute! What kind of horse do we want? Do we want a stallion or what kind of horse? I kind of like you. You look like a midnight. I like it. <gasps> what should the horse's name be? <gasps> Danger. I like it. Danger Dusk. Danger Dusk. <laughs> Giddy up, Danger Dusk. I like it! Molly Dragon Song, because there's no mousy. And Danger Dusk. Let's do this! According to ancient legend, the island of Jorvik was once nothing more than a desolate rock in the cold, dark sea, until one magical and stormy night a star fell from the sky. As the star struck down, its embers glowed against the dark night. Suddenly a girl on horseback sprang forth from the fading flames. She rode gracefully across the surface of the stormy water, leaving calm and stillness in her wake. In her right hand she carried a light. The girl and her horse reached Jorvik's bleak and lifeless shores, and she cast down her light in the very center of the island. Immediately, waves of life began to surge across the island, and all that was once cold and dark was brought into light with warmth and light. With a close eye on the legend, Jorvik was always cherished, has always cherished its strong and lasting bond with the horses, and some say it's the very soul of the island. You've come to Jorvik to spend the summer at Moorland Stable, where you'll be working and taking care of a horse of your own. After the summer is over, you may be accepted to the Jorvin Jorvik Equine Institute, which would mean staying on the island and building a life here, a life filled with horses and adventure. The legend of Jorvik says that in times of great despair and darkness, a girl will once again appear on horseback to bring light and hope to those who believe in all that is lost. Might you be that girl? I hope so! There we are! What is that talking? Hi, you must be Molly. I'm just I'm Justin. Pleased to meet you and welcome to Moreland Stables. Me and my father Thomas run these stables. Aren't they fantastic? Right now things are a bit hectic. Nasty boss from the big corporation. GED, Mr. Kemble is doing everything he can to evict us and tear down the stable to be able to build condos here. We're, st we're still trying to figure out what can we do to stop him, but he's more of a slippery... He's more of a slippery than an eel. What? Walk up close and click on it. <gasps> we're riding the horse! <gasps> oh my gosh, look at us! Oh my gosh, look at everyone! What is all this? Hi Molly, there you are! I've been waiting for you! Well, well, I can 
tell that you and Danger Desk make a good team. It seems like you've known each other all your lives. You're going to accomplish amazing things, mark my word. Normally, it's Mr. Moreland who introduces the new visitors to the stables, but he's a very busy man at the moment, so I'm filling in. I don't know if you've heard, but there's this awful company called GED who wants to tear this place down and build houses on the grounds. Don't disturb Mr. Morland unless you have to. He's working really hard to find a way to stop that slimy Mr. Kemble. But enough about that. Even though I'm normally handling the stable duties, I think I can tell you a thing or two about riding as well. Now before I let you outside the gates, you have to show me that you can ride safely. Behind, behind me you'll find a small track with poles laid out on the ground. This is called a cavaletti, and it should be enough to prove that you know the basics of riding. Complete the track and return to me. Ooh. One, go. Yeah, we did it! Awesome! We completed the race successfully! That was great! Good job on completing the Cavaletti! You and Danger Dust really worked as a team. Keep it up. Now I think you're ready for some serious riding. And as promised, you are now allowed to gallop and go outside the Moreland Stables. Wait, what? What? Yes, I'm Loretta, and who are you? Not that I care, Molly. That's your name? Really? Well, it sounds very pretty and intelligent. Oh my, Molly. I bet your horse's name is just as lame. I bet it's like a puppy heart or something. Danger Dusk? Ha! <laughs> I'm psychic! So what are you doing here anyway? Jenna told you I was going to teach you how to compete? Great. You know what? Actually, I'm kind of bored right now, so why not? You and Puffy Heart should try racing some <laughs> in the paddock. Who knows? Maybe it'll make me smile at your fantastically fast speed. I can already tell that you'll never make it into the club. Girl, please. I will make it into that racing club if you... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! She was right! I'm not gonna make it in! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on, Danger Dusk! Danger Dusk! Danger Dusk! I'll show them! Yeah! Okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad for a beginner. I'll admit I w it wasn't super good at controlling my horse when I first came here either, but that will change when you get more experience and acquire better equipment. You'll never be a bobcat girl, though. That's for sure. Total mean girl! Oh my gosh. Get out. Hi, I'm Tan. Loretta showed you how to race in the paddock, but now I'll show you how the bobcat girls like to ride for real. This might be tough for a newbie, but you take it slow if you have to. You're not a pro rider like us. I don't think you'll ever be able to beat our high scores. You don't look like you have what it takes, but you're welcome to try. Watch out for the GED construction site. Horses are scattered, are scared of construction machines, so don't get too close. I'll show them. Let's do this. Okay. We're not we're not doing too bad. Look at us. Here we go. Go, go, danger dusk. Go, go, danger dusk. Giddy up, horsey. No, danger dusk, come on! Yay! Woo! Okay. So I am the only one. I have no friends on this yet. It's just me. 
Hmm, okay, that wasn't exactly amazing, but you did well. You're still far from our real high scores, but that's only natural. You see, if that felt difficult or slow or whatever, just wait until you and Danger Dust have spent some more time on the riding tracks around here. Danger Dust will get much faster, and it will feel like another horse. But don't get your hopes up. The Bobcat girls can only can't be beaten. If you want to try anyway, you can, but only once a day. We don't want newbies like you messing up our track for nothing. What a brat. I'm gonna be real. She's a mess. Oh, so here's the chat. We have like a friend chat and a global chat. And if we had a club, we can like have a club chat. This is so cute. What is this? Oh, so this is how we can buy stuff. Hey Molly, Justin is looking for you. He probably just needs some newcomer to muck out the stables. You'll find him in the courtyard behind the stable. Don't let him wait. Just a minute. Just one more thing. Keep away from Justin. He's mine and nobody will ever come between us. Not that there's any chance that he would ever be interested in somebody like you. Girl, I am so stealing your boyfriend now just because you said that. Like this video if you think I should just totally steal this girl's boyfriend because she's a brat. It's nice to see you again. I hope everyone's been nice to you here. Don't mind Loretta. She can be a bit harsh sometimes, but she's nice once you get to know her, even if it's hard to believe. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about taking care of your horse. Okay, so here we go. We're cleaning out the hooves. Watering the horse. Feeding some hay. Oh, here he is. Thank you for coming so fast, Molly. The situation with Mr. Kemble from GED is getting out of hand, and I really need your help. Absolutely. This is troubling. That slimy vulture, Mr. Kemble, has plans to evict us all and raise Moreland Stables to the ground. I just got word that he has almost convinced the city council, and I'm running out of time to stop him. Even as we speak, his despicable pack of land surveyors are setting up their equipment so that they can make detailed demolition map and present to the city hall. I know that I have the legal rights to this land, but I need more time to get the documents in order. Will you help save more land sta stables, Molly? We need to delay Mr. Kemble's land surveyors to win some time. All you need to do is switch off their GPS equipment. Right now, they're setting up in the forest just north of the Moreland Stable. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 here's the next one, here's the next one. Oh my gosh, we have one more! We've missed one somewhere. Where is it? <gasps> there it is! Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Splendid! Good work there! I truly appreciate it! That will delay them for a while. Now I've got a little time, at least, to build my case against Mr. Kemble and the City Council. What I'm going to do, Molly? Mr. Kemble is putting pressure on me about those legal documents. I'm sure I could stop him if I got just a little more time. Hmm. Maybe a little harmless sabotage on the construction site would distract him for a while. Ha! If he wants to play rough, I'll show him what, who that he's met his match. Let's see, there's a power central at one of the p power line poles, just where the road makes a turn on the construction site. There should be a switch on it, turning off the power line that supports the construction site with electricity. If you turn off, if you would even turn off the lights to that ugly, stupid advertising board as a bonus, that should buy us some valuable time. <gasps> Here we go, I found it. Wow, look at how pretty this place is. Ha, that's priceless. I can hear, think I can hear the Dimwit screaming at his workers all the way there. Now I have a little more time. Ah, oh, that's so great. We're getting coins as well. There's a deed to the Moreland Stables, which was given to my father over 50 years ago by the Baroness Silverglade. Yes, she's the one residing in the castle up there. I've looked everywhere in the office archives, but I can't find the documents anywhere. I have an idea about who who could, though. Our accountant, Mr. Holdsworth, knows all about our business and is sure to know where the documents are. 
She retired last year and now spends her days taking care of the orchard just outside the stables. Go see her. She should be able to find the documents. You'll find her east of the Moreland stables. Look at how pretty everything is. Hello, Mrs. Holdsworth. Well, hello there, dear. What can I do for you? Well, let me think. I believe there's a deed of ownership, but I lost it some years ago when Thomas Morland's wife, Catherine, died in child bed time. Thomas lost all interest in papers and documents and just wanted to spend time with his horses. All paperwork was put in a chest and sent over to Catherine's father, and there's a great chance that the deed is in that chest. Yes, her father, Jasper Holbrook, and the child that was born is Justin Morland. James Jasper blames Thomas for Catherine's death, and they haven't spoken in 20 years. It's a tragedy that this feud has been going on for so long, but if anyone has the deed, it would be old man Jasper. It won't be easy convincing him to part with it, though. You'll find old man Jasper guarding his land at the northeastern fields. Good luck, dear! Okay, away we go. Look at how beautiful this is! Can we just take a moment and, like, appreciate how adorable this is? Right, so I think that's about all the time we have for the first episode of Star Stable. If you guys want to see more episodes of this, be sure to let me know down below in the comments, because that's going to decide whether we make more videos on this. If you guys want to join the game, it's actually completely free. Um, it's just called Star Stable, and it didn't take that much to download and all that. Um, I'm liking it so far. It's like a little horse RPG. What? It doesn't get better than that. It's like World of Warcraft meets girly horses. I love it. So let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!